Hi everyone, welcome to another video for Ross Q&A. My name is Rodrigo and this week I'll be answering this question which I found on Ross Answers. I found this question on Ross Answers, sorry, um, in which a person is trying to add a camera to the TurtleBot 3 burger, which is perfect for us because we are going to show how to do that using our Robux Real Robot Lab in which we have a TurtleBot 3 and you can connect from anywhere in the world in order to uh, connect to it and test your programs. So, and we have a USB camera attached to it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And here is the TurtleBot. There you go. Sorry, it's connected so I can't really move it any closer. But as you can see, this is the camera right here. It's a, just a normal USB webcam that I uh, plugged into the Raspberry Pi through the USB ports uh, on the Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to show you how to install the drivers and to um, do the necessary modifications in your uh, TurtleBot in order to have this USB camera. So let's go, let's go right ahead. So. Uh, as you can see, this terminal right here is pointing to my TurtleBot. So this is whatever is inside my TurtleBot. And um, so as you can see, the first thing we have to do is install the ROS driver. And for that, we're going to use, I'm going to show you here, uh, let me just find it, this one. This. Uh, CV camera package which is great because it uses the OpenCV library and you can do this for uh, computer vision and do a thousand things with this and uh, we're, so we're going to install this ROS driver you can either download it from uh, github or install it with the apt-get command which is what I'm going to do and as you can see it publishes an image raw a topic and the other important thing to notice here is that it's using this frame ID camera in order to publish this this topic. So there's two things that we're going to do then. First thing is we're going to install this driver into our TurtleBot and then the next is create a launch file that launches this camera node, this CV camera node, and as well as a static transform publisher which will publish a frame that connects our TurtleBot frames with respect to the base link to this camera frame that I just mentioned here. So I'm going to show you this inside our TurtleBot. So right here, as you can see, I have a package for all the TurtleBot hardware. Uh, but first, let me show you. I already have the CV camera package installed uh, and it's in the OPT ROS uh, folder which means it was installed with this command sudo apt get um, and then install and then type in ROS melodic because this is the distribution for my turtle bot and then CV and then you can see how it shows up camera so then you do your password and for me it'll say that it's already installed so nothing new will install but for you it will install right away um, so there you go that's all you gotta do and uh, so let me show you what I meant by the launch file. So in this um, hardware stuff, I have a controllers launch, start all controllers, in which I include several things, like for example, the lighter for which I'm using, and this USB camera. And as you can see, this is the launch that I created that you should create as well which is very simple cvcamera.launch and there you can see 
that what it's doing is just launching the node, the camera node that I, we saw in the ROS wiki page for this uh, driver. And then it's doing a static transfer publisher, the one I told you about, that is connecting the base link for the turtle bot, which is being published by this launch right here uh, for the bring up package. And if you don't know what this is, then you should probably follow this e-manual for Robotis. It's called TurtleBot 3 Robotis e-manual. It tells you all of the things you need to do in order to set up your TurtleBot. Um, and I'm not going to show you this because this is for another time. Um, but um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. So right now, if we do a ROS node list inside our TurtleBot, you'll see that this node is already running because this launch file was launched. So remember, CV camera node and a static transfer publisher. So let me just, the TurtleBot is moving right now, so let me just stop it. There we go. And um, so now that you know how to add this, really simple, just two things. We're gonna go into the real rebel lab and, and see how it works. So to do this, oh, just close this. We're gonna go into the constructsim.com. So the constructsim.com, which is this page. Uh, and if you don't have an account, just create one uh, and you won't regret it. This is a platform where you can learn from over 50 robotics courses and starting from basics for programming in Python and C++ all the way up to robot navigation and machine learning so and a lot of theory so I recommend you guys uh, start learning in, in this so check it out so again uh, we're gonna log in here um, we can update later and then as you can see on the side here, there's a real robot lab tab. So we're going to click on this. And as you can see, there, there's the turtle bot I just showed you over here. And we also have a, um, a robot arm, which you can use for testing anything you want. Uh, and it has a real sense. Uh, it's very nice. So I recommend you guys check it out. And in order to book, you just got to click on this book now select whatever you want we're going to select the turtle bot select your distribution and then the slot that is available for example 630 and then just click confirm there we go and in here my robux time tab you'll see all the uh, reservations you have as you can see uh, i have one right now at 6 and at 630 the one i just made so we can just go ahead and launch the ROS check that will be able to connect to this robot from wherever you are in the world. So as soon as you create your booking, this ROS check right here called Robux TurtleBot 3 will get copied into your ROS checks here in my ROS checks. So we're gonna wanna run this. And we'll just wait for it to load. And I'll just remind you one more time of what you need to do in order to install this camera is to download the CV camera ROS driver in case you're doing a USB camera and then add a static transform to the launch you're writing in order to connect this camera to your turtle bot. So now it's been opened and you can see here that this is our turtle bot and we've just added a really cool feature which is a real-time camera so you can see my, my my hand over there I'm just waving it around uh, so it's great for uh, debugging in real time uh, and there's practically no lag um, uh, so that's a great feature so as you can see now we are seeing oh sorry I forgot to connect <laughs> this is very important uh, over here in the bottom you'll see this button here. So you're gonna to want to connect. 
just click on that once you're inside of your reserving slot. So we'll just wait for it to connect. There you go. So now if we open a web shell down here and we type in ROS node list, we can make this a little bigger. You'll see that we have all of these nodes, which include the CV camera node that I just told you about, how to install it and how to make the launch file. Um, and then if we want to take a look at the ROS topic list, you have all of these uh, images that are available to you. So let's try and see it. So just type in RQT. Actually, we'll do everything in RVIS. So just type in RVIS and click on this graphical tools button right here. And there you go. Uh, if the if the window is weird, you can click on this button right here and you can just maximize afterwards. And you can see this is the RVIS model for the TurtleBot. Uh, we'll just make this a little more transparent. And we're going to add two things. First, we're going to add the TF. Actually, no. First, let's add our image so if we do by topic and then image right here there you go you can see that something sort of appeared and it's not showing correctly because uh, the turtle bot is facing a wall so if I move it around there you go you can see that the camera is now seeing what is going on in the lab. So if I put my hand in there, there you go, you'll see it. And where is this coming from? So that's the other thing I wanted to show you that comes in with the addition of the TF frames. So you can see what I'm talking about, about the static transform publisher. There you go, so there's a ton of them. We don't want to see all of them. and go down, click on the drop down menu for the TFs, then in frames, you can deactivate all of them. And remember the connection was between base link and camera. So we're gonna turn on those uh, frames, oops, sorry, camera, and base link. So if you zoom in, you'll see that it's sort of offset by a little bit, which is specified in the static transform I just published, this one right here. Let me just, to make it clearer, this one right here. So it's five centimeters to the front and then 10 centimeters up and that is where our new, uh, the, where the connection will be made. So again, if we go back here, you'll see that its base link is below and it's five centimeters to the front and then 10 centimeters up. That's where the um, camera is relative, relatively precise. You know, I measured it. Uh, and you can see that it's, the base link is basically in the middle of the bottom uh, plate right there. And again, this is with the TurtleBot 3 core uh, launch that you get from the Robotis official manual. Um, and yeah, that's pretty, much, that's pretty much it. That's how you add a camera to your TurtleBot 3. Let me just show you. I'm going to um, move this just to show you. We can, I have a, let 
node that moves the turtle bot randomly. So I'm just going to launch that. And we can go back to our Arvis and you can see how it's starting to move. So that way you can use it for, you know, traffic sign recognition or um, any kind of computer vision. So that's how you add a camera, uh, hopefully you will learn something for this and let me know if this wasn't clear. I know this was pretty long but I wanted to show you everything inside our lab and you can see over there it's moving, a little turtle bot. And uh, yeah, uh, just let me know. I'm going to answer this question by typing it as well. Uh, but uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll see you guys in two weeks for the next video. Uh, all right. Bye-bye, guys.